about my city. Load up, pussy won't smoke. Roll up, working on your bitch. Load up, drinking on the dirty soda. Promise I'ma never go sober. What's up, brothers? So this to the game. I'm gonna get a quick overview and a uh, unboxing of this Walker Turbo Kit. So. I left the um the main pipe upstairs, but this the intercooler right here. Um, these are uh, some rear suspension um tow long. It's only three in here. Uh, I ain't really worried about that. This is a, I think it's a 7275. It's a VS Racing Wheel. What do you think? Uh-oh. It don't say it on the outside of the box, but I believe it's a 7275. Definitely does not say. But yeah, that's going on the 6.4. I haven't been able to look at this shit yet. But we zoomed the whole way. So this is all the cold side piping for the intercooler with the coupler. And these stuff to stay. Oh. Single turbo. Let me put this back in the bag. Yeah, these are all the couplers. Because I have a 6.4. He, um, you know, he made his kit to a, a, a 5.7. Um, intake manifold. I mean, the uh, throttle body inlet or whatever. So, that I just gotta figure out what coupler I'm gonna use for the six four. Like I might gotta buy just a, a different elbow like this or something. Cause it just turns straight in like for the five seven. Let me get down to that. Let me get all these intercooler pipes and out the way. This is this is one of the hot side piping. So this uh. This is what connects to what is upstairs. These both connect to um, this is my exhaust manifold on uh, my long tube because I have a long tube kit. I got a long tube kit, so rust a little bit. This is it. But, uh, yeah. This is what goes into his intermediate pipe that's upstairs. This is for both of my long tubes. And then I'll put it back in the plastic in a second. DW? I think that's a whistle egg. So. Whatever this is, I don't know if he just put something in here. Ooh, ooh. Hello, man. Oh, we got a shirt. I'm about to wear this shit. You know these vibes. You gave me a 2x mic. I like a 2x mic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get that shit to my mama. He owe me a shirt. 
Mike, you owe me a damn shirt. Is this a pump? What's this? I feel like it is. Injectors. Oh no. Wastegate. I know he said he put a he he has another one now that he's been trying out. Open it. Is this a big fair one? Why the fuck not? Big turbo. Boost gauge. I got the taser, so I'll be using that too. That um boost stuff already pops up in my gauges and stuff, so I don't know. When I actually get some boost running through it, maybe it'll read it correctly, but it's cool to have that too. Um, where do I open it from? Doom, doom. Next one. This is. Why does it sound like springs? <laughs> Maybe all the couplers, the uh, hot side or the cold side, whatever. It's just couplers in here. I ain't opening all of it. I don't see nothing special. Next box. Next box. Let's see here. Ding, 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 ding. Kind of cool with my neck. What is this? This might be hit one of his catch cans, which cool. But we are I already have a catch can, so if it's better, it's better. I might just use it. But my catch can's already on my car. Another cash can, cool. It's one of my lines messed up, so that's a plus. Cash can. Let's hope for this. Let's see what's in here. Y'all see it? Mike Walker. I ain't gonna get out of that dress. Mm -hmm. Okay. Some turbo stuff. Turbo stuff. I'm not gonna unbox anything from it. Like, I'm just gonna look into the boxes.
There might be turbo lines and stuff. Waste gates. Uh -huh. Okay. This might be all the um the hot side stuff. Uh, the oil lines and all that stuff. So yeah. And then, I'll be right back. I'm about to go. Uh, I'm gonna put all this stuff back in the box. Uh, slash eating up. And I'm gonna show y'all the intermediate pipe, the um, the long one that uh, connects under the whole car. So this is the intermediate pipe I was talking about. Um, this will go from the left passenger side uh, tire. The turbo will sit right there where the uh, inbox is. Uh, air box or whatever um this will go all the way under to about the middle of the car where the, the long tube headers are where they end and then remember i showed you it was uh three inlets on that on that pipe on here two go straight into the headers and then one connects into here with the turbo oh. Kind of um, I kind of want to open this just to see what intercooler is in here. He sent me a <laughs> he sent me an empty box last week. But if I was the manufacturer, I must say. Do I really need this big box for real? For real? Mm. I lift it with my hand. Can we do it? Yeah. It's a lever. You do not want to work this. Today, I'm going to take a few short videos on how to install the long tube turbo kit from Walker Induction Solutions. First, you want to start by jacking up your car and taking off your front bumper. After you have your car jacked up and your bumper off, the next thing you want to do is drill out the hole right behind this rectangle. There's already a hole there, it's just this size. So you drill it out for a larger hole. I drilled mine too big, obviously, and you put in my provided uh, bolt for the hot side mount after you got your bolt secured which mine is not i highly recommend not welding them in place what you can do is get a piece of tape and put it on the very end of the thread so it kind of stays in place and doesn't want to fall back through if you weld it in place it's hard to replace you know if it strips out cross threads breaks it's hard to replace if it's welded in place so on the turbo hot side, this is cut flush whenever you get it, and there is two different mounts. One is a solid mount, and then the other is an alignment mount. As you can see, that's not very sturdy. This is sturdy. The easiest way to do this is to have a jack stand underneath the vehicle so you can put it, put the long section of the pipe on the jack stand so you're not sitting there trying to leverage it up because we're not fucking Hulk or Superman. So. Uh, your hot side balance on the pipe and just slide it back until you know it's in position this is gonna be really hard to fucking do with one hand i'm gonna set you down so you guys can still see live uh you know all right basically forward back all right so after you get that somewhat in place you can put your uh mount onto your bolt. After your mount is in place and secured, life starts to get a little bit easier. You now want to get underneath the vehicle and put in the alignment bolt, which goes in the existing clasp thread, I think is what these are called. I don't fucking know. Anyways, you mount that there. Should have zoomed out. That's a lot of cans in there. It will be a 10 millimeter provided. Oh, shit. Boom. And now, 
comes mounting the cross pipe. After you have your mount and your alignment bracket secured and tightened, you should have something that looks a little bit like this. I wish I had a lift so I could show this to you guys a little bit better, but hopefully you can get the concept. With the long tubes installed, you will not be able to clasp the V-band like I have here, but it will give you a rough idea without me having six hands to hold it all up and mark it. So after you have your intermediate pipe mounted, secured, and in place, everything looks correct, you get underneath the vehicle, you want to align your cross pipe as close as you can with this V-band, and then mark lines on your long tubes for where you want to cut to install my provided flanges. My provided flanges are deep, so you can make the cut a little bit long and it will still slide on. Just don't make it too short because then you have to add material back. So what you'll do is you'll get a rough estimate of where this is going to be and then you'll just put a sharpie line on your long tubes, cut your long tubes and weld on my provided flanges. I wish I could show this to you guys all in a single picture. There you go. That's that's how it is. So your long tubes will go into each V-band, redirect exhaust flow, and then go back to the engine bay. And probably like, I'm, I'm not going to put it on for maybe. I'm not going to say maybe, but uh, I got maintenance to do. Like, as you can see this, look, I've been riding around the airbag. I I got a few things I got to do. So in the next two months, the kit should be on the car. But I got to take care of the rear. Uh, like y'all seen in the video, I got to put all the uh, rear suspension stuff on first. And... The springs ain't really nothing, but I'm putting the rear suspension stuff on. It's, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I didn't think it was a bad but... Yeah. I got slight stuff I need to do before I actually put that turbo kit on. But I hope throughout the whole video and the videos that I put in there uh, uh, with Mike, I hope that is enough to uh, clearly show you what's going on. And, uh, we're going on, we're going on 80k, y'all. I might blow this bitch up, but um, please, guys, like, rate, subscribe. I'll get back at y'all in the next one. Uh, y'all want to uh, keep up with more info on each of my bills, man? Hit that bell. You'll be notified when I repost. got a lot in store for this year. I was planning to be um, tuned by my birthday, which is July 23rd, but guys, that's, it's not gonna, um, it might not happen. When I say the next two months, I mean, it could happen in August. You know what I mean? It would be nice, but like I said, I got a, a few little things I need to button up on this car before I wanna make it faster. Catch back up to y'all in the next one, please. Like, race subscribe.